Hey, this is Brian, the creator of Smart Connections and the Smart Connect software. And this is Christiane, and we're going to show you how to get started with both the plugin and the Smart Connect. Use the Smart Connect GPT to chat with your notes. Okay, let's get started here. So, first, we're going to go into Obsidian and install the Smart Connections plugin. We already have a new supporter key. Okay, so move the... This is probably in the way. Yeah, okay. Just exit out of that. So now you... Community plugins. If you haven't installed community plugins prior, you're going to have to turn on community plugins. And then go to Browse and enter smart connections install and enable and if you go to the options this is currently version 2.0 but if you enter your license key then you can upgrade to version 2.1 And you will have to click the Smart Connections again after the first um, upgrade. Now, if you see, we're going to be working with the Smart Connections 2 GPT after we get everything set up. Right now, the default embedding model is set, and that's about all we need to do in the Smart Connections. Use Smart Chat, but since we're using Chat GPT, we'll skip using the Smart Chat for now. Now. If you already have Smart Connect installed, you can just go within Smart Connect. Otherwise, there will be um, a link in your email and in the chat room to get this software, the download, whether for Windows or Mac or Linux. You'll find those instructions in the email. Now, before you can connect here, now this this actually isn't going to pop up like this the first time. Let's let's make it look like we just like let's start fresh here. I'm going to go into here and delete the Smart Connect folder. Okay, now this time we this is what it should look like if you are just getting started. This is not the vault that we want to use. So if you have multiple vaults, it might try to automatically insert a different vault, but let's change it to the My Notes vault. And now the name of your vault is important because that allows links to work. So you're gonna put My Notes there. And your name of your vault may be different from the name of the folder where your vault exists. The alignment note, that's a note that provides special instructions to the chat GPT. We can skip that for now. What we do want to do though is enter the email. Oops. Okay, so what, what you're seeing there, you can scroll down and add the email and license key. It. And what happens is after you enter a new setting, the software resets so that it uses that setting. And then when you see the green, that means the setting was saved properly. So now you can scroll to the top and click connect, but since it's connecting, um, some, something you can do is just hit Command R or Control R, and that's gonna refresh the page. And then sometimes if it's having trouble connecting, as you can see that quickly connected, and what you should see is disconnect. That means that it is connected. You can also see it says connected uh, right above the button. Let's try, you know, everything actually is already connected so that you can use ChatGPT to interact with your notes. So if you go to the Chrome browser with ChatGPT, this is the Smart, Smart Connect GPT. And you could say something like list my notes in here yeah and the first time you do this it should prompt you to lock so sign in
and then enter the license key. And hitting always allow is a good idea so you don't have to keep clicking. And so now we have the list of notes and these links should work if we set everything up properly. And then you can also always allow here and then it'll open that note in Obsidian. So if we click out of the, there we go. Um, go back to the chat GPT. And then now we can try something like, give me organization ideas for my new Obsidian vault. And while it's doing that, I'll quick show you in the Smart Connect software, you can see the exact actions the ChatGPT is performing by going to the console log and then console. And you can see that the ChatGPT just created a note. So if we go back here, it'll tell us, okay, it just created the note. You can find the new note organization ideas. Interesting. Uh, you know, we can go back to ChatGPT and the, a common organization structure is the para method uh, by Tiago Forte. Just create para, and I would use capital P-A-R-A, -A, create para folders in my vault. And the para stands for projects, areas, resources, an archive, or something similar. And I, I don't know why the first request failed. You can usually check in this uh, console log that we had open to see what the issue might have been. I, I'm not seeing any red errors, so. but it said, I've successfully created the para folders in the vault. So now if we go back to the vault, now you have projects, areas, resources, archives. And that's a good start for getting organized. Do you have any questions? Any comments? Okay, well, then that's getting started with Obsidian Smart Connections and the Smart Connect GPT. See you next time.